Brexit, the art of the deal. Theresa May has agreed a Brexit deal with the EU. But what is it? More importantly, what happens now? For reference, this was uploaded at 8am on Wednesday the 14th of November. So there's been reports that the deal includes UK-wide customs arrangement, which can mean one of two things. Either the UK has agreed to stay in the customs union, or less likely, the EU has allowed the UK special access to the customs union, while still being able to trade with nations outside of the customs union. We still have to abide by all the EU rules. Uncontrolled immigration from the EU would continue, and we couldn't do trade deals we want with other countries. Staying in the customs union, of course, would mean we wouldn't be able to do trade deals with nations outside of that customs union. But it would keep a free border in Northern Ireland. The UK and the EU will both preserve the autonomy of their decision making. Both will preserve their regulatory autonomy. The EU cannot and the EU will not delegate the application of its customs policy and rules, VAT and excises duty collection to a non-member who would not be subject to the EU's governance structures. Any customs arrangements or customs union, and I always uh, said that the EU is open to a customs union, must respect this principle. And in any case, a customs union which would help to reduce friction at the border would come with our common commercial policy for goods. Having a bespoke customs arrangement for the UK might mean we get a free border in Northern Ireland, but can still make trade deals with nations outside the Union. Maybe those future trade deals are dependent on our future relationship with the EU long term, which is still to be negotiated. Now at 2pm today, Theresa May will meet with her cabinet to discuss the deal she made. They will then have a choice whether to accept the deal and therefore go ahead with trying to get the deal through Parliament, or they could reject the deal and try and get May to renegotiate with the EU. Or they could reject the deal and implement their no-deal planning. Or they could resign from Cabinet. The biggest question over the coming months will be Northern Ireland and how the DUP react to the deal. What was there in the legal text is around creating a border down the Irish Sea. And of course, that's not something we in Northern Ireland could allow from a constitutional point of view, obviously. But also in terms of economics, it would be catastrophic to have that border down the Irish Sea. Should they desert the government, Theresa May won't have a majority in Parliament, which is why this deal has to be a UK-wide deal that doesn't create a hard border in Northern Ireland. The Trekkers is absolute rubbish uh, and that we should chuck it and what we should have is a Canada-style free trade deal. I mean, The next group of people to vote against May will be the Brexiteers. If the deal seems like we'd be giving up too many concessions to the EU, which staying in the customs union would, then they would vote against it. Whether somehow May has managed to negotiate a new customs arrangement specific to the UK is yet to be seen. But let me also reach out to the Prime Minister. You see, I reach out to everybody. If you deliver a deal that includes a customs union and no hard border in Ireland, if you protect jobs, people's rights at work and environmental and consumer standards, then we will support that sensible deal. A deal that would be backed by most of businesses in the world and trade unions. Labour will be testing this deal against their six key tests. Corbyn said he wants a deal that keeps us in the customs union and which keeps an open border in Northern Ireland. So it might actually be her strategy to please the DUP and Labour more than the Brexiteers to get this deal through Parliament, because there are more numbers in Parliament. Of course, an agreed Brexit deal is one less project fear doomsday scenario for the Remainers, but it doesn't stop them arguing that leaving the EU might leave us economically worse off than staying in. As the detail is revealed in the coming months, and it gets ever more complicated, the argument for a second referendum to clarify parliamentary position will increase. But I'm hoping something positive has actually come from the Brexit deal. 
I'm hoping that we have actually got access to trading around the world and a free border in Northern Ireland all in one deal. But do you agree with me? Join in the debate below and subscribe.